Hi guys, it's Neo again, and uh, this time I'm in Hamlet again, and we're just going to do a quick video on how to make arches. Um, one of my friends asked me about this, so right, let's get cracking then. So I'm just going to go new there, um, as always, set the node draw as a default texture. Um, so what I'm just going to do first, just make a quick floor, not with that, just make sure that's on block. Quick floor, doesn't matter what size it is, doesn't matter what thickness it is, but I'm just going to do something like that for now. Um, what I'm gonna, the next thing I'm going to do actually is just make two posts which are going to form the basis of the, the, the walls where the arch is going to go. So again, this can be any size that you want. I'm just going to do 192 by 64. I'm going to copy and paste that. And just leave, leave like, well, any sort of gap, but one that's reasonably okay. So I'm gonna do two, two, four like that. What what I'm gonna do with with arches? There's there's several ways that you can build them. There's like quick, easy ways of doing it. I mean, the way I do it, it's a little bit more long-winded, but you'll get a much nicer finish on it. So what I'm going to do is, over on this right hand side here, where it says primitives and then you got blocks, if you bring that drop down now, um, if you select cylinder, I've got 20 sides, and what I've done is, I've measured this gap here, and it's 224, on the top view, I'm going to pull it out so it's exactly 224 by 224, so, like so, so it's an exact square. And what this will do, this will give me a cylinder as um, almost like a template to build around to get your arch. So drop that in like that, control M. And what we're going to do is rotate it on the Y axis. And in this top view, it doesn't matter where it actually sits. I mean, you can sit it flush with your wall or, or anywhere really. You're using it as a marker point. The key here is on the side. You need to get this center point here basically lined up with these here. Although at the same time, it, you can have it there or anywhere you want really. So what we're going to do, that is it. Go back onto your building blocks, send that to set that to block again, and I am going to manually cut squares out to fit this corner piece. There's a couple of ways you can shape these um, depending on how you want to build it yourself but I just do it like this so what, what you need to do now is lower the grid so it actually lines up with these in most cases you need to go as low as you can so what I'm going to do is you need to make boxes that surround these points here in this top view it doesn't matter at this point you can always adjust that so if you can see it, it can actually overlap as well so I'm going to do that like that make the boxes that overlap them like that so go into this view you can either start at the top or the bottom or even if in the middle really and it's just a case of you just need to carve like that into the middle point so again next one like that and just work your way around it when I was referring before about different ways of like building this piece you can I could cut it off like there and there which I'll show you in a sec it's a, it's a bit of a personal preference really how you how you want it to how you want to cut these pieces I've never really noticed any problems doing it either way so that's just one side I'll try I always do it like that but there is other ways of doing it which I'll try and show you now I'll just probably have to make this up off the top of my head because I normally cut them like that so you cut them put these build these blocks and every time you build it it'll hold its position here from from the last piece you built so this is going to be a bit of a guess here but because I don't mind 
do this, but you could upgrade that to something permanent. So cut that there. Oops, hang on. Good boy, lad. Um, I could cut that there like that. I've just slightly cut that didn't I? I mean I could I could actually go up like that in a straight line um, like that I could actually do that like that it depends on how you want to cut that but the, the key thing is you, you're using that circle as a template to know where you get that curve there so in my case I'm just going to do it the way I've done it uh, you can actually delete that then if you've got your arch there all I'm going to do is just copy and paste that, rotate it, control M like in the other video, 180 degrees, bring bring this grid just slightly up a bit so it makes it a bit easier to line up and then what I'm going to do now actually is I, I need to just actually align that on there, the other view, the top view, um, pull them up like that or I could have moved the arch down so either way it doesn't there uh, you can do like I don't know like a little tree on the top there like so just put a little bit of detail in it there we go just minding these corners off skin again on it Whoop. just go over to the other corner um, in this case, I'm going to just function detail these bits. So you can either select in there or in the, the viewport on that as well. Um, to enter, function detail is my default. Apply. There we go. Um, all we need to do now is just texture it basically. So I'm just going to put a concrete, just find some sort of concrete to go on the side here. Um, Hmm. Let's see, let me find a good texture on the new one. Put that on there. The only problem you might run into here is because I've rotated this to this other side, you'll see what I mean in a minute. The texture will be it should be wrong. Yeah, you can see it's wrong there. So to get around that you just put minus there. Hide the mask. And you just Apply that onto the the actual concrete there, and that'll fit perfect there. Just apply it to there, da, da, da. and it's the same problem on this side as well. It, but it sh yeah, it's on that side. There you go. Apply that there, like that, and it's the same on the arch bit as well. You'll see that in a minute. There you go. So I'll just find a, a, a fairly decent some sort of text to go on there now. Um, what I'm going to do hide the mask so you can see a bit more where you align it. Like that. So because that's in the wrong place there you, you just rotate it 180 degrees there. Or you, you, you could probably put a minus there as well but What you can do if you if you've got the time, um, it's actually worked out okay on here. You see, like this bit here, the texture doesn't line up. Uh, this actually works on right angle corners as well. I'll, sh I'll show you on this. Quickly. You, I don't see many maps actually incorporate this because it, it does take a long time to actually mess about with it to get it looking right. But if you make um, any sort of wall with even a right angle or a piece like that, it will just get a better texture. It's a bit easier, it's a bit more difficult to line up on that one. Actually, there we go. Uh, but yeah, look, if you get that texture there, 
what what you don't see very often in matches. This piece here lines up perfectly, but this one doesn't. What what you got to do is you go along, you move it along until the point where you can actually see the join. So in this case, it's just here like this. In fact, it needs rotating the other way, so you do that like that. Put a minus there, and you line. You can see where the you can see the join in it there. Bring that back there like that. What that does is it makes the curve of that wall look even smoother. You don't see it very often in match because I don't know why it just takes a long time. But I mean, look how nice that looks now compared to if you did just a regular sort of. That would be what it would look like originally. That's what it looks like when you manually align it. It just looks so much nicer. So that's your arch there. Um, I'll just finish this off. Do the tree. So um, just put one of these joins in there. Line this up. Not like that. Like that. Do that side down and that is your arch. I could add another one onto here. It's a little bit more trickier, but again it's not it's never too difficult to do it. So if you wanted to add another one, what you need to do is what I'll actually do here is I'll move this piece here because it's a little bit more confusing with it having this double line here so what you do because that gaps 222 224 sorry what you do is to make another arch on top of this is what I'll do is make the 22 224 one and then I'll make another one which is actually there's one in it gotta select it back to cylinder mode there do 224 which is the original size 224 224 you can see that there it doesn't matter about that we make that and what we'll do now is move it on just slightly less so we'll go we'll pull that down say one there one there make that so we'll center that there and that will give you the basis of the extra trim so if we select those two pieces there rotate them again and that you can see how I've got the bases now to make a nice trim around there and this is what I was saying before you don't have to line that up to there because it's just it's solely there as a point of reference so we go back into block mode and again you just it doesn't really matter where these are as well so I'm just lining them up this is just temporarily just lining them up there as long as this square covers the point here where you're cutting. <coughs> Do that back again. And a good tip, actually, this I've not long figured this out actually, but whenever you select a block like that, when you go to build in block mode again, it actually defaults it to that size, which is really handy actually. So I've got all the pieces there. So again the grid down and you've just got to carve this up to the near to the nearest point you can get sometimes if you set up different sizes when building arches you will you might find that your nearest points there or there but in my case it just it's just fell quite nicely there so again you just carve in the square out to match to match the reference of that arch there that you've made Again, do that like so. Last piece. Oh, you don't have to put that last piece in. Do Go back up, cut that. Then I can get rid of that. Then don't need that anymore. Select them pieces there, and you can put that wherever you want, either in the middle or around on the edges 
what I'm going to do this time is actually I'm going to texture that first and then copy and paste it. It'll just save a bit of work in the long run. This bit is a little bit more trickier. What you need to do is find a texture that's going to be easier to align. So these thinner ones, like these, are anything thinner is going to be easier to align up if you want to make it nice. You just got to do this by eye. It's not easy to do, but I'm just going to do it dead quick for now. You could work out the degrees. Um, you can actually type 0.5 in there if you need to get it really accurate, but I'm just quickly showing you this. This is why if you had a full size texture, this would this would be a lot more difficult. But saying that, if you knew what the degrees were here, um, you could just type them in. But it's not too difficult to do it like this. To do that one as well. Um, same with this one. Like so. And finally, the bottom piece. as well it's not perfect but it'll, it, it's, it'll work like that and then all you need to do then is go back on the null drawer and just make the piece that goes straight down like so like that and then same again just that's off of the bloody mark now that piece there is not going to be fully correct actually. That's a little bit better. Like that. Push that back in there just so it, just where that lines up there, just do that there. Like that. And then it's just a case of copying and pasting it. Control M again as always to rotate it and then put that on there just make sure it's lined up punch and detail it off and in this case uh, I, yeah you could you can rotate this but it seems to match up pretty nicely anyway so it depends on what text you're using but that's how you do that and then if I just turn this ID off here, I could put one on each end like that. And that is how you ma make a really nice looking arch. What I'll do is I'll just put that top piece back on the ID there with no groups. Put that back on there. Control Z to enlarge the grid. And that's it. That's how you make an arch really nice looking one actually right thanks for that if you need any um, help with anything else just let me know and I'll um, do a video about it thanks see you later guys